Jennifer Mind Gadget Man, how you doing? I just want to say quickly thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. Uh, as you can see from the title of this video, it is a in-depth graphics comparison of Grand Theft Auto 5, similar to what I did with Battlefield 4. Um, and just like before, it is long, so I hope you can sort of get yourself comfortable in your chair and be super entertained by what I'm about to show you. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, uh, as I said in my opening, I'm going to be doing a in-depth comparison of Grand Theft Auto 5 um, between the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, the PlayStation 3, and the PlayStation 4. Once again, IGN has done an amazing job of creating a video um, with the side-by-side -side comparisons, the one-to-one -one comparisons, and now with a 4-up comparison, which I personally haven't seen before, um, which I do appreciate, and that'll help me communicate the differences between all four systems at one time versus having to click through many layers. That said, I do have 30 layers to go through, but I'll try to go through them quicker this time so it's not a 30 minute video. Um, but we'll see how long it takes. So here we go. Obviously, again, this is me. I am Gadget Man. Hello. Nice to know you. Um, and you don't care. Okay, so moving on. Let's go to the first layer of this wonderful trip that we're about to go on. Layer 1. So here we have a comparison between the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. And I have to say that throughout this video that I was watching, and I do have it for the um, for the Xbox One, um, it was interesting to see the differences between uh, the 360, the PS3, um, because I didn't have the game before. This was actually the first time I've ever played Grand Theft Auto V. I was going to buy it, then when I found out they were releasing a newer version, I decided to wait for it. So, anyway, uh, getting back to this, I digress. So, we're looking at this image, and some things I've noticed throughout the video, and we'll get to those as well, is there's always a contrast between light and dark. Uh, either one side's more dark than the other, or the other side is more brighter. So, you know, each, it, it, it all, this game is so dynamic, it all matters on like which angle you're facing, which light you're facing, is the sun up, is the sun down, is the sun going down, is the sun coming up. So there's a lot of variables, so please forgive me if there's something that I'm missing. So, that said, here we have clearly some separation of light here, um, and it could be very well the, the, to where he's standing but um, in their video they have this cell phone here uh, and on the Xbox one it's um, you know it has the correct lighting it seems to be dark uh, the LED lights on the keypad are lit illuminated um, you know uh, the if you look also down here at the at the um, the floor here and the shadow casting there's a little more detail um, here on the floor than there is over here on the PlayStation 4. Oh look, my virus has been updated. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, great, thanks. Um, sorry about that. Um, a lot of the other things, let's see here, let's zoom in a little bit and look at the calendar which is totally broken up. Oh, I do want to caveat all of this because I got a lot of poop last time about you know, oh, this video is compressed and it's not a true, you know, comparison, blah, 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 blah. My answer to that is all of these are captured the same way. So if one looks crappier than the other, then it's, you know, it's all in the same level playing field. So I don't want to hear it. Um, anyway. So, okay, anyway. So, yeah, there's some clear differences here between, you know, lighting. But, again, it's a difficult shot to tell the difference because, you know, if the guy on the PlayStation 4 side turned a little bit, maybe the lighting would change and the keypad would light up. But to me, you know, this one shot, the Xbox One, looks good. All right. Sorry about that. Moving on. All right. Layer 2. No, that's me. There we go. All righty. So, PlayStation 3 version... Um, we're going to pop through PlayStation 3. We're going to go to, let me see if I can move this out of the way a little bit so I can show you more of the image. So I lied. This is probably going to take longer than I thought. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Okay, that's as small as I can get it. Awesome. Alrighty, so I'll just slide this over. <clears throat> so here's PlayStation 3. 
PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. So some of the things you can notice, which, you know, I have to say that I'm very impressed with the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 once again. It's making the job of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One more difficult, um, especially in this kind of example, this game. It is only an up version of an existing game, so it's hard to, it's not really playing fair. My point is the PS3 and the Xbox 360 look damn good, uh, and they hold up very well. Um, you know, and obviously on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One version, you can play a first-person view, which they're obviously in this IGN video taking advantage of. Um, you know, so all of the shots that we're going to see, or most of them is going to be a comparison from a third-person perspective and into a first-person perspective. So we have to keep that in mind. Um, you know, no, most noticeably here are um, the ambient light effects, the um, occlusions that are happening, the... Um, the uh, fog, um, the if you look at the details here in the concrete that's broken with the rebar, um, and you go back to the PlayStation 3, you know, it's really lighting and shading that's really making a huge difference here. It's a lot of tricks. Um, you know, there's more damage and debris on the, on the Xbox One version. If you look over here, there's some more damage to the panels than the uh, PlayStation 3 version. Um, so, um, yeah, you know, the lighting is also better, but again, that goes with the territory of a new system, new hardware, those kind of things can really, um, really make a difference, clearly. Um, I'm going to jump up here to the Xbox 360 version, and I'll be actually able to do an apples to apples on the uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. I'm like, most of you guys don't care. I actually have to give this one to the PlayStation 3. It definitely has a lot more detail. Um, in the damage and uh, destruction, um, there are, seems to be a little bit more of an edge to the PlayStation 3 here. Um, so, okay, that said, I'm going to go back to the PlayStation 4 in comparison to the Xbox One. Okay, here we go. A, B, A, B, A, B. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Um... You know, this is, this is something I had in the Battlefield video is uh, for some reason PlayStation 4 seems to, I don't know if they're texture mapping or how their graphics processor works, but it does seem to wash out a little bit. And, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, dude, just change the contrast on your monitor and it'll fix it, possibly. But I just don't understand why um, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, there's, there's always that sort of detail. Like here, clearly it's washed out right it looks pretty washed out there uh, and then on the Xbox one it's not washed out there's a little bit more dark a little more detail in the depths and stuff like that um, uh, you know you can also notice that back here wait dark and then washed out dark washed out dark washed out um, so there you go I'm gonna move on to the next set of images Alrighty, uh, here we go with this guy. So here's the Xbox One version, clearly, because it says Xbox One down here. Looks pretty good. PlayStation 4. Now, here is where the PlayStation 4 takes a little bit of a lead here. You know, and again, it actually, the washed out lit version or more light version benefits this shot because the Xbox One is dark, you lose detail. Even though it's there, you're losing the detail in the guy's mask. Um, whereas in the PlayStation 4, you're getting it back. Um, but again, it's it's kind of a it's a lighting thing, really, um, because you, the detail is there for both systems. It's just the way it's being processed um, is changing, is making a difference here. Um, okay, so we're gonna move on to the next one. I told you maybe now I'm actually gonna fly through these because. They're really close to each other, um, you know, in detail and stuff like that. There will be some outside outside shots that you will see a little bit of a difference that could sway you either way if you have both systems or if you're thinking about buying a system and GTA 5 is one of your must-want, must-have games. Um, so you just saw that. I'm jumping to the Xbox 360. Uh, clearly, we're losing some detail here. Um, uh, but... You know, it's really just the texturing that's that's uh, getting not as tight. Like, look at his mask. You can see the resolution in the mask is um, 
suffering. Um, there's a breakdown. It looks more like a mesh or, um, you know, a, a grid rather than a knit. Um, so again, this is the Xbox 360 and this, I'm sorry, this is the Xbox 360 and that's the PS4, I believe. Let me back it up. Boom, PlayStation 4, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's expected from an older hardware. But again, the game is like crazy cool looking on all systems. Um, so jumping out to and grab a PlayStation version. Oh yeah, here's a PS3, 360, PS3, 360. Again, the PlayStation 3 is lighter. It's got to be something in the code that PlayStation, that Sony does, um, that sort of just kind of does this overall wash on the graphics here. Okay, so I'm going to bounce. Here's 360 versus Xbox One. Again, you're, it's kind of a hard shot. It's darker. Um, the, the reason why I grabbed this one, I thought it was funny. I could actually see the knit in his sweater here and then not on the Xbox One. So um, I thought that was a little unusual. Moving on. All right, so PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3. This is an outside shot. I have to say for Grand Theft Auto V, um, I played the Xbox One and the PS4 version. Um, but like at home, I have the Xbox One version. Damn, the snow is so good. Whatever they're using to generate the snow, to the texture mapping that they did, these guys, Rockstar has environments down. They have them down. Down pat. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The clouds, the sky. The sky, the atmosphere, the trees, the ground, the 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 um, the puddles in the water. I mean, it's just crazy how much detail they have. Their character models, not so great. It's like they spent all of their energy on environments, and when it came to the character models, they were like, meh. They got to get the guys from like Infinity Ward or the Call of Duty guys, um, you know, respawn the guys that model that stuff, and then put those characters in this environment, and you've got a awesome detailed game the character detail kind of killed it for me a little bit i was a little disappointed especially after playing advanced um advanced warfare those character models are amazing okay uh i digress again sorry guys i go on tangents um so here's kind of funny thing playstation 3 versus playstation 4 um the sky here to me looks better now Granted, this is a third-person view, and there's we're obviously inside the car, and it could be that the clouds are being blocked by this post right here. Um, <clears throat> but at first glance, it's like, you know, other than maybe the snow detail down here, which you're moving at a high speed, so you're kind of losing, um, you're losing the detail anyway. Um, but I thought it was interesting. Like, this tree off in the distance, like, looks real coming up. You know, it's a little blurry, but it's because it's off. In the distance or this one it's like it's too crisp you know what i mean it's kind of weird um another strange thing is you can see a lot more detail of trees back here and back here it's all fog and faded so that may be intentional uh, i just thought it was funny because like at first glance i'm like wait a minute did they screw up on the tags up here um <clears throat> so okay so let's go jump out because they only had a ps3 ps4 comparison here PS3, PS4, PS3, PS4, PS3, PS4. Uh, one thing that just popped out to me is the um, is the lighting here on the brick wall on the PS3. Looks pretty darn good, you know. It's got the right amount of lighting. It's got the you know the shading looks about about right. Texture mapping's a little low res, but um, still holds up really well. And then we have the PS4 version, which, you know, they're trying, obviously, to get more of a realistic lighting. Um, but again, you know, it's hard to judge. It's really not fair um, for the PS4 and the Xbox One because the game already set such a high standard, and they really just kind of pumped it through an up-res thing. And um, so... Uh, but it still looks good. I mean, PlayStation 3 over here is pretty pretty awesome. All right, uh, Xbox One versus, let's get rid of that one. Xbox One, that's PlayStation 3. Uh, let's see here. I'm sorry, guys. 
There we go. PS4, Xbox One, PS4, Xbox One. Uh, let's see here. Um, PS3, PS4, Xbox One. I'm just looking with you guys, so bear with me. All right, so the Xbox One, I would say, you know, there's this huge gun flash here, so that doesn't help. Mother effer. There we go. But if you look over here on the PlayStation 4, right? The Xbox One. The lighting and stuff and the detail in the in the um in the concrete and the cinder over here. It's a little bit more towards the Xbox One. Um but again, it's really hard, guys. It's not like Battlefield where I felt like there were massive differences. Um, let's go to some exterior stuff, because I want to make this fair, otherwise people are going to get mad. <laughs> Alright, this one I was also kind of funny. Um, the PlayStation 4, like, when I saw this, I was like, holy crap, again, Rockstar, they're rock stars. When it comes to water, it is like, I want to drink that. It's like, you want to swim in it, it's so crystal clear and beautiful. Um... You know, different time of day for the Xbox One. Again, this is all based upon the IGN video. Uh, so it's hard to do a full comparison. Um, the draw distance looks about the same. There seems to be a little bit more active bird life in the background. But again, it's all variant on time. Um, but the draw distance as far as the buildings in the background, they look pretty much the same. Uh, the water looks pretty much the same um, PlayStation 3 suffers a lot um, the reflections the water really suffers here because you know the translucency of the water the fact that you can see down to the bottom is a huge plus the reflections of the Sun um, the reflections in the water in the distance um, you know the the, um, the refraction that's going on between the light uh, from the Sun and the light bouncing from the ground is um, phenomenal. Uh, and you look at the the um, the Xbox One uh, again, different time of day, so you can't really see through the water. But I don't hold not holding that against the Xbox One. PlayStation Three, there's some reflection. Uh, there's you know some reflection back here. Uh, the shadowing and stuff just isn't quite as good. The um, seeing through is kind of like half ass right here, um, and uh, it certainly goes through pretty quick. The atmosphere as well and the draw distance is a little lacking, but not terrible. 360, I was pretty impressed by this. I have to say, the 360, um, the water looks almost it looks as good as the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. I mean, you've got the reflections, you've got the refractions. You've got the lighting effects coming through the water, seeing the 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 um, the sand below. Um, there's still the wildlife, you know. Again, time I know. The detail and the draw distance seems better. Um, you can actually see the windows and stuff in the building back there. Um, again, uh, let's see here. Let's jump. PS3, Xbox 360. Yeah, <clears throat> you know the lighting. I'm sure is a huge variant on that. Um, but, uh, you know, I was really impressed with the 360. I mean, let's look at the 360 um, next to the PlayStation 4. I mean, <laughs> really? It, you know, the, it looks pretty darn good, you know? It really does. Um, and, uh, you know, again, they did a really good job with this game. So on this one, the Xbox 360 absolutely just strangles the PlayStation 3 to death. Uh, it fights pretty well with the PS4, um, and the Xbox One, you know, again, it looks good. I know I keep saying it again. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you know, the details back here, even like the color and the buoys and stuff, the time of day kind of screws this up a bit. Um, but the character models look the same. The draw distance looks actually better on the 360. It's kind of laughable. Um, all right, let's not jump out of Photoshop. Okay. 
moving on. Um, shut that off. Okay, next. Okay, here's one of those four up images, which I really love. Because I can just go boom, boom, boom. So looking at these images just firsthand, my eye goes to the 360 and the PlayStation 4. Now, it's probably because of the time of day. PlayStation 3 is just not winning here at all. It's like suffering pretty badly. Even the Xbox One is kind of unimpressive. I would almost put the PS3 and the Xbox One very close to each other. If I were to rate these from best to worst, I would go PS4, 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3. Um, and um, yeah, you know, it's just the way it is. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Some outside stuff. Now, I know there were some videos where people were making fun of the fact that, like, there's more shrubbery on the Xbox, I'm sorry, on the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox One. Uh, I'd argue that it depends where you are um, because there are some areas on the PlayStation 4 where it's bare, and then there are some areas where the, um, the Xbox One where it's bare, and, you know, and it's lush. It just depends really where you're standing. Again, this is a dynamically generated world so things can change on a whim um so ps3 versus ps4 you know easy um you lose a lot of detail in the bark you lose a lot of detail in the leaves and the trees um textures become stretched um it's not as pretty uh so in the playstation 4 you know you clearly have more separation of lighting and the effects that the the leaves are getting hit by light you're seeing the bark of the tree, the individual strands of bark down here, the knots and um, um, plant life and details of the, flo the flora and fauna. Um, huge difference. Sorry guys, there you go. Huge difference. Like, where's the grass? It's gone. Um, so, you know, hey, the power of the PlayStation 4, good on ya. Uh, let's throw in the X, let's throw the, get that out of there. Let's get the PS3 out of there. Throw in the Xbox One. Okay, now let's look at this. For me, the lighting looks more realistic on the Xbox One. Um, the shadowing, the sun casting in up here, I'm sure helps a lot. Um, but you got to appreciate the fact that how the sunlight is gracefully, you know, laid across the street. Um, you could see the, the variations of the light casting over the paint of the vehicle, um, the paint on the ground. Um, you know, there's um, quite a difference there. Where the PlayStation 4 is washed out, again. Um, <clears throat> ground texture maps, you know, uh, it looks to me the feel of the Xbox One in this shot just feels better to me. Uh, there, um, although I have to say that it looks like there's a little, there's definitely more texture map detail on the PlayStation 4 up in here. Um, granted, he's standing farther back. Uh, again, guys, I'm just working with what IGN created. I don't have the ability currently to run the PS4 and Xbox One together as they can, so I'm just taking advantage of their video. 360, I'm not even going to talk about. It looks like poop. Um, so Xbox One versus PS4, I would give PS, um, sorry, the Xbox One a little bit of a nudge. My goodness, there we go. For the win. Um, you know, same amount of grass detail, but like the distant drawing and the distance of the mountains, um, it just looks better to me than this washed out stuff. Um, all right, so let's go on to the next frame. Like, okay, 360. Everything is washed, uh, stretched out. All the textures suck. There's no grass on the ground, and there's mi there's a tree missing. All right, and there's no cars, <laughs> so it sucks. Moving on. PlayStation Four versus PlayStation Three. This is an outside shot. Um, you know, clearly the biggest thing that's missing here is the grass. So, you know, there's there's no grass, and there's tons of grass here, which looks really good uh, and helps a lot with the scene. The tree back here uh, has better lighting effects. There's actually moonlight bouncing off the leaves that you can see, and here it's just sort of like, yeah, there's a tree there. Um, there's a lot more detail in the house. 
the house over here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can see that there's, you know, the rooftop with the, the faded, although it is a duplicated texture over and over and over again, it is a detail to the roof that the PlayStation 3 lacks. Um, it's like a lot, lot less definition in the lines of each piece of tar or whatever they're using to cover the roof. Um, the city in the background, uh, you know, you know, you, you can see clearly there's, it's not much better, but the texture map is better in the, in the, in the building back here. It's slightly more detailed. We're here. It's more washed. You know, you, anything here you're seeing is just very hard edges. You really, you know, can be windows. Sure. You know, or here, you know, here it's a little better. Um, nothing to like write home about and be like, oh my God, but, um, <clears throat> The, um, the distance of the city goes a little bit farther out than this one does. Um, but again, I'm going to pull back here a little bit. Um, you know, not that much of a difference besides the grass missing. Um, there is a little more detail down here um, than there is over here. Um, although I have to say that the lighting looks better on the PS3. Um, yeah, it looks better over here. It's again, PS4 and it's washed out. I don't know what they're doing. They need to stop it. Um, okay. So let's go to the next shot. Xbox 360. Okay. So I'm going to move this over because I really want to look at this side over here. Okay. Xbox One, PS4. The lighting just looks way better to me on the Xbox One, especially down here. I mean, like you see the lighting, the yellow the tint of the of the um, street lamps, really just kind of covers very nice flood of light with the yellow tones and the orange tones, um, whereas. The uh, PlayStation 4 version is a washed out mess. Um, you know, you lose a lot of the darks. Uh, it's just not there. Um, the contrast, again, and I use contrast loosely because it's really, it's not a contrast in the term of television contrast. It's in terms of like, you know, Photoshop contrast um, in the darks and stuff like that. Again, lost on the PS4 gained on the Xbox One. Um, you know, they just have it better. Now, there is something here to note, which I'm sure some of you will note. Let's back it up here. Let's take a look down here. Let's turn that off. Okay. Now, the whole shrubbery discussion, which is kind of a joke, but <clears throat> I have to address it. So yeah, okay, yeah, there's more grass on the PlayStation 4 version. However, PS4 looks washed. The Xbox One, there actually looks like blades of grass. There's clear lines, you know, there's like this flowers here. Looks really good and crisp. Then you drop in PS4 and it's like water wash. You know, um, you lose a lot of the details. It could, you know, sometimes too much is, you know, too much, and it doesn't help the image, or it doesn't help the video. So that's something to note. Um, <clears throat> I prefer, let me back it out so we get the whole picture. I prefer, and this is just my opinion, you know, I would go with the Xbox One version, but again, it could be lighting. To me, right now, looking at this, the Xbox One looks better. Um, so, moving on. All right, here's a four up again. Again, <laughs> no grass. 360 seems to suffer from even more stretchy textures on the ground, where at least this is remotely better. Um, the the uh, lighting for the 360 is better back here. PS4 is a little washy. The Xbox One 
is probably the best here, and the PS4 is okay. If I were to rate these, I would say Xbox One is first, PlayStation 4 would be a four second, PlayStation 3 would be third, and the Xbox 360 would be fourth. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And the final shot, which I just grabbed at the four up. Looking at this, okay, some things I've noticed. To me, the Xbox One and the 360 are better, hands down, and I'll tell you why. Look at the rug on the Xbox One. I mean, look at that. It looks like you just step on it, you know? It's got the right lighting. It's got the right amount of bump in it. It's got a little bit of, of stainage, you know, the stains. It just looks more real. Like you could just rub your fingers through it. It just looks good. The play, uh, PlayStation 4, not so much. You lose some of that detail. The dirt's there, but because of the lack of contrast and the washed out processing that the PlayStation 4 is doing, it's losing the detail on the carpet. Um, it's also washing out the wood washing out the shadows and the shading that's going on in the corners of the areas of the wood meets the other pieces of wood. It's not lost here. Now, granted, the Xbox One is a little dark. It's a little dark, maybe I would say 10% darker than it needs to be. However, the wood has better textures. It feels more real. It, it has the shadow and the shading that it needs in order to feel and look better. This looks like washed out wood. Um, the um, let me back it up a little bit here. Now the Xbox 360 versus the PS3. Um, I think that the 360 has a more realistic lighting effect to it than the uh, PlayStation 3. Um, although, let's see here. I'm just looking at everything else with you. Yeah, again, the carpet just works a little better in the favor of the Xbox 360 than it does on the PS3. Uh, the TV itself, you know, it's kind of like across the board pretty good. There's some added details in the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, like some AV jacks or something. But I mean, other than that, you know, they're missing here and here. PlayStation 3 television is actually more discernible, but I think that's the lighting thing. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting how the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3 process lighting versus the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. Sometimes it works towards the favor of the PlayStations. However, I feel that more often than not, it hurts it because it's wiping out textures that are there, but they're being wiped out. Um, funny enough, if you look at this crystal over here on top of the television, the PS4 version looks better to me. You actually have more detail. It looks like there's a little bit of refraction going on, uh, a little bit of reflection and stuff going on in here to give it more of a detail, where it's pretty lost over here. Um, so yeah, um, wallpaper, very close, but the Xbox One looks better. This is a little washed out. Um, sound like a broken record, but it's true. Well, there are buttons and stuff here which I didn't notice before until I zoomed in. Um, you can catch those details more on the PS4 because of the lighting, um, but it's like they gotta dial it back just a little bit, you know? Cause like, it's cool that you can see the buttons here more, um, but then you get stuff like this, which is just like, oh my God, it's way too washed out, way too washed out. So it's almost like you wanna combine these and would probably make the perfect shot or the perfect image. For this comparison um, you know for one-to-one -one. Uh, but you know you're not gonna play this game and stare at the carpet and be like oh the Xbox one is better um, and if you do you got problems overall you know this was a tougher comparison because it is an existing game that was up uh, it was a, a give and take between the Xbox one and the PlayStation 4 uh, there are some shots of PlayStation 4 just look better um, and there's some that like the Xbox one was suffering the PlayStation three, you know, hurt a little bit. So, you know, I, it would, it was, it was hard. It's a hard comparison to all of them. You know, if you have a PS4 and an Xbox one, you know, 
I would probably lean towards the Xbox One version um, because of the lighting, because of the shading, because of some of the details that were overly exposed on the PlayStation 4. It looked better to me on the Xbox One. They just know how to do shading and shadowing better. And it, you know, something with the PS guys, I don't know what they're doing. Um, but, you know, the 360 had some massive fails and the PlayStation 3 had some massive fails. However, if you already own the PS3 or Xbox 360 version, I, I wouldn't upgrade. I would just stick with what you got. If you're new to the GTA 5 series or the GTA series, but more so 5 because it was just sort of a recent release, go with the, uh, the uh, and you have a next-gen system, go with the, obviously the newer version. Um, <clears throat> it's a toss-up between Xbox One and PS4. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I appreciate you guys listening to me babble, uh, and um, I will hopefully hear from you guys and see you real soon. All right, and that's it. So I am Gadget Man. Peace. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Ed from I'm Gadget Man. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to my channel. Um, last, okay. Are we recording? Okay. All right. I did something similar for Battlefield 4 and it had a huge response, so I'm hoping that this is a. Uh, I'm.